It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm standing here on a cold winter's day in the bar to show you Lidl's exclusive Belgian ales. Now they bring this box out every Christmas. About four or five years ago, I reviewed each beer individually. But of course, things have moved on. We've got a lot more followers now. And I had a load of comments last week saying, Simon, Simon, you've missed the, the exclusive Belgian beers in, in Lidl. But I hadn't. They'd all done individually. So I thought to myself, right, let's pick this up anyway. Let's see how a, a video goes of me. Because I don't really make a lot of long, long videos, but let's see how this goes. It is heading towards Christmas after all, and I suppose you want to see, you want to see this box of beer. So we have um, a Bornham Blonde, uh, I'm sorry, a Bornham Double, Bornham Triple, Pirat, Pirat Triple Hop, Golden Drac and the Golden Drac 9000. Pretty, pretty impressive, pretty impressive beer liner. So, I immediately thought that the, the gold label was the, was the blonde, but it's not. So, let's do the Bornham Double then. Uh, this is a beer coming in at 7.2% ABV. We've got all of our glasses lined up here. Bit of a different setup. I thought I'd get out in the bar today. It's a really beautiful, crisp, cold winter's day. Nice and bright for the camera. So here we go then. So we have a dark mahogany coloured ale with a two to three finger off-white head <clears throat> nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass Slight haze in there. Let's get the aroma. I've left this box out here tonight, or last night, today, and it's been, it dropped down to about six degrees last night, so that it, it's probably, the beers are probably in here, probably about eight degrees, and I left them out here because in the winter time in this bar, it's the perfect temperature for beer. You can literally grab hold of one of the perfect draft kegs, or I'm looking at a couple there, or a, or a torp that's been left out in the conservatory, get it straight into the machine, and it's only 20 minutes before the keg's ready to pull some awesome beer. So this, what I'm saying that for is because this is the perfect temperature for this Belgian double, this Bornham double. And it's pot spicy and peppery and very kind of fruity. A mixture of blackberries and biscuit malt. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. <sighs> lovely. Absolutely lovely. All of these beers, they're made every year. Or These are permanent beers for Brewery Van Steenberg. They put the box together every year for Lidl. 
I get it every year. I get this box every year. It's, it's a fantastic selection of beers to enjoy over the Christmas period. But Brewery Van Steenberg, then, they make the... They make all of the beers. The Parat, Van Steenberg, yeah, the Golden Drac. I'm sure that's Van Steenberg as well. It is. So they're all made by... Brewery Van Steenberg over there in Belgium. Malty, bready, biscuity. That classic Belgian yeast coming through. Slightly spicy and peppery. Little bit of kind of herb-like flavours coming through. Lovely. So that's, that's beer one. Where should we go from here? The next one is a triple. I'm thinking they've got their ABVs as well. So the next one is 9%. That's the Bornham. Bornham triple. Let's go with that one then. The, the reviews of these beers won't be as detailed as I normally do them, because normally my beer reviews last anywhere between 9 and 10 minutes. So, 9 and 10 minutes per beer review, that's going to be, it's going to be an hour long. It'll be a whole hour if I was to, by the time I introduce myself, outros and talking about the beers, where the beers are from etc etc i'll be standing out here an hour and you'll be watching this for a, a whole hour i mean would you be interested in that the more we drink these rather strong belgian beers mind um the longer we might waffle on for a little bit so this bornham triple Interesting beer, 1789, they, they first started producing beer. It was very clear, a light golden amber coloured beer that was clear until I got to the last bit of the beer where I shook it round and, and got it into the glass there. Two finger white head, hazy, good levels of carbonation, exactly what you want from a triple. Let's get the aroma. It smells lovely, lovely, really quite hoppy, spicy and peppery at the same time. And I find that with a lot of Belgian beer, that Belgian yeast for me, and everybody's different, but for me it gives off a estery kind of, almost like slightly horse blankety spicy aroma and flavour. Belgium yeast is a very unique yeast strain. But this is more kind of clementines and lemons. Let's dive in. Cheers. Whoa. Wow. Ultra dry, really dry, mouth puckering, spicy, peppery, herb like, hoppy, clementine flavour coming through. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. Wow! Wow, that is an interesting, interesting brew. It totally caught me off guard, completely took me by surprise, really. Just a lovely, lovely, fresh, really fresh beer. I mean, this must have been packed up a couple of weeks ago at Brewery Van Steenberg and sent all over Lidl's. Um, I'm interested to know as well, let me know 
if these beers are around Europe? Are they in Italy or France or Germany? Or are they just made for the UK market? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. So that was a quick look at the Bornham Triple. We will move on because uh, we want to get through as well we're going to get through all of these beers and I don't want to take up too much of your time really right the next two are 10.5% the, the other four now these four beers are 10.5% ABV so I think I'm going to go Pirat I'm going to go with the Pirat 10.5% ABV <coughs> picture of a ship with the sails on the on the bottle cap I'll probably come around and show you everything once we've got all of this kind of open and I'll show you all of the beers right up to the camera once we've um, finished the finished the tastings I think I got such a great lens now on this camera that it's the other side of the room. Um, it's it's about two meters away, unbelievably. So I'd have to walk around the bar each time and show you the beer. It, it, it'd take too long, so I'll show you in a bit. So here's an example of the clear beer, and then you give it a wash round in the bottle, and then the beer becomes nice and hazy. That's that's how all the, the Belgian beers should be drank. Swirl the yeast, get the yeast into the glass. We got a one to two finger white head. Amber. This one's more of a chestnutty amber colour. Nice and hazy, good levels of carbonation. It, this one looks like it's got a little bit more body to it. Of course, it's 10.5% ABV. It's going to have a little bit more body to it. Aroma. This is leaning towards being a little bit sweeter. You're getting a lot of sweet malt in here. And that's that's balancing off with that that hoppy finish that kind of bitterness from the hops I reckon this is going to be a really well balanced beer for 10.5 percent the aromas of I got that classic Belgian candy Sugar, Belgian candied fruit aromas. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, very sweet. Very sweet, very well balanced. I really like that. I really, really like that. The Bornham Triple really took me by surprise. It was like, quote, blimey, that's, that's bitter. This one, as I predicted, um, the sweetness really balances off against that. That same level of bitterness, that same level of bitterness from the hops. But there's a lot of sweetness to balance that out. And I think this probably leans towards a little bit more of my preferred Belgian beer style where it's it's a little bit more balanced I like that sweet bready biscuity malt with the spices the pepperiness and the lemon flavor from the hop another another great beer another this is probably my favorite so far the Parat 10.5% Very very nice beer Right, 
We're halfway. Three to go. Where are we going next? I think we will stick to... I think we'll go Golden Drac. And then we'll leave, I think, maybe the Golden Drac 9000. That's a quadruple. So we'll do the classic Golden Drac. Meaning Golden Dragon. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's the darkest. Let's hold it up against the Burnham. The Burnham double. Burnham double. Very similar in colour. Deep chestnut mahogany colours. One finger tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation. Again. clear beer for now let's pour the rest in and watch the sediments as it makes the beer hazy look at that Uh, good levels of carbonation, hazy, two finger tan coloured head, let's get the aroma. Another interesting brew, another interesting, I'm going to have a fantastic day ahead of me. <laughs> All of these Belgian beers around me, blimey. Merry Christmas everybody. <laughs> Spicy, peppery, herbal, sweet, malt, but a dry. This is more dry. It's a little bit more dry in the aroma anyway. It's not, the Parat was very sweet. The Parat was a very sweet beer. This is a little bit more dry. More bready rather than being sweet and bready. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, a lot more dry than the Golden Drac, the Golden Dragon. Uh, sorry, 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 let me start again. This is the Golden Dragon. I get mixed up with my beers now. A lot more dry than the Parat. Parat being a lot, a lot sweeter. Bready, malty, biscuity. And I'm going to say at this stage, at this stage, even though we're only tasting the beers at this stage, they are 7.2%, 9%, 10.5%, 10.5%. The other two are 10.5%. I'm going to be perfectly honest. And it's probably something that's not really covered that much in beer reviews but i'm starting to feel this i'm just the moment where you realize you're slightly tipsy slightly i'm not about to start dancing around the conservatory i would if i drank the rest of these um so i will do by late this evening by the time mel gets home but I'm just starting to feel a touch light-headed. And that's part of the experiment with these beers. We've been this is tasting beer number four. This is 
got a little bit of a cherry cola taste to it. Carbonated cherry cola, malty, bit of burnt toast going on in there. Dry, it's definitely drier than the Parat. But very, very nice all the same. Very nice all the same. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> right, next beer. I'm really having to concentrate. Blimey. Um, oh, let's leave, we'll leave the triple hop till last. Let's do the next golden drack. Now this is the 9,000 quadruple. Described them as, as an exceptional golden amber quadruple. much bigger head on this beer. Another thing I'm starting to feel, um, but <laughs> I'm not I'm not minding so much because um, I'm a little bit tipsy, is um, being out here with the door open in the conservatory, my feet are freezing. <laughs> my feet are stone cold. Uh, three, four finger, great big head on this glass, great big head, good levels of carbonation, four fingers of slightly off white head, a lighter beer than the golden drack, you, can you see it, from, yes you can definitely, I can see it from here, uh, this is the golden drack, this is the golden dragon 9000, so it's a lighter a lighter coloured beer, and that's, that's very interesting. I tell you why that's very interesting, because it's a quadruple, and the quadruples that I've had have generally been quite dark. So for this quadruple to be lighter than the regular Golden Dragon, that's slightly unusual for me. Look at that for a beer, though. You know, when you think of... of Belgian beer bars with the great big heads on their beer. That's exactly what you think of when you think Belgian beer. Big foamy head. Good levels of carbonation. If I am starting to waffle because I've I've i i I'm on my fifth fifth Belgian quadruple of the day. Then please comment in the comments box. Tell me to get on with it. Come on, hurry up, get on with it. <laughs> um, hey, nice and hazy. Lots of carbonation. Three finger white, off slightly off white head. Let's get the aroma. We're starting to rain. Mmm, the head's so large that I'm struggling to, to really, I mean what a completely different contrast to this, to this Golden Dragon, this Golden Drac, to the Golden Drac Quadruple. This is going back into the realms of being more of a sweeter beer. And at this stage, I'm, I'm starting to wonder. Brudy van Steenberg in Belgium. They've had to make each beer different from the previous beer. Not many people will open these six beers. I can tell you that for a fact. 
not many people, I may know of one person that, that will drink a box of this in one night. <laughs> but, um, I think the, 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 the regular man on the street, I think, is going to have maybe one of these every other night. But for the people out there that, that really kind of just get through these, they, they, Van Steenberg have to make these beers different. They have to differentiate the beers from, from a previous beer, from these previous beers. Yeah, so slightly more sweet. Let's dive in. I feel like I'm gassing now. I feel like I'm really just talking for the sake of talking. Yes, yeah, go back. Now then, which was the sweet one? It was the Parat, wasn't it? So the Parat was the sweet one. This is going back into the realms of the Parat. It's the same... It's the same ABV as the Parat, is the Golden Dragon 9000. So let's, let's do a taste comparison between the two. Sweet, malty, really sweet. Really, really sweet. Malty, hoppy, spicy, peppery. That was the quad 9000. This is the Parat. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Peppery. Very similar beer. Very, very similar beer. What I imagine they've done to differentiate the two beers is that they've swapped the malts out. I reckon this is more of a, they've used more of a red malt here, a little bit of a darker malt, and the Parat is just a lighter malt. This type of thing's gonna happen. This type of thing will happen. When you produce a box of beer and, and one, two, four of them beers are 10.5% ABV. One of the beers is definitely, definitely going to clash with the other beer. And in this case, I think the Golden Drac 9000 Quadruple has most definitely clashed with the regular Pirat. Right. Last beer, I've got to make sure all of these are in order, and even the bottle caps, because I want to come around and show you. <coughs> Pardon me. Pirat Triple Hop, 10.5% ABV, Brewery Van Steenberg. I went to Belgium a few years ago. And they, I went with the family, the Belgian family brewers, they call themselves. Look at that. That looks like a Pilsner. Wow. Look at that. That's different from every other beer. Maybe, maybe the Bornham triple looks slightly close. And this is, a, of course, a triple. Let's wash this beer around in the glass and get it in. Clarity's gone away. There we go, look. Again, two beers that the Parat Triple's higher in ABV by 3%, 3.2% ABV, 3.3% ABV. Actually, no, 1.5% ABV difference between the Bornham Triple and the Pirat triple. But a two finger white head, good carbonation, golden amber in colour, aroma. Oh! Oh, 
all interesting. I, I'm, I'm noticing maybe a touch of DMS in here. A little bit of maybe rotting, rotting cabbage. Let's try it against the Bornham Triple. Bornham Triple, much cleaner. Much, much cleaner beer. The Parat Triple. I think it's a bit more, they dry hopped it a bit more and they maybe have added, added a little bit more malt. But um, let's, let's dive into this one. Cheers. Yeah, no DMS at all. No rotting vegetables. It must have been something caught my nose. Yeah, I think it's it, it's it's more of the malt. It's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit more dry hopped. But it just caught my nose slightly. It's very different from the rest of the beers. It's very nice. I like that level of sweetness. I like the carbonation. I like the spice, the pepperiness. But I like, I like the fact that it's really lemony. It's really orangey and really lemony. Oh, that's fabulous. Let's try the Bornham Triple. Yeah, the aroma, the aroma of the Bornham Triple is, is very, very nice compared to the aroma of the Pirat Triple. But taste in the Pirat Triple it's a better tasting beer than the Bornham Triple. Isn't that intriguing? I mean, if you're still watching, if you're still watching me drinking <laughs> six exclusive Belgian beers at like 7% up to 10.5% ABV, then thanks for tuning in for the whole video. That triple is nice. But this triple, with the extra miles per hour, the MPH of the, the extra woomph of that 10.5%, more malt, more hops. It's a much smoother, balanced beer. Peppery, spicy and lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's put that there. I think I've got all the bottle caps and everything. So I'm going to come round now. I'm going to come from my behind my bar. Here we are. This was the Bornham Triple that we started with. Here's the beer. How's the focus? Uh, goodness knows where that bottle cap went. I, I can't see that one. Um, here's the Bornham Double. Ah, yeah, they just got they. They haven't even got branded caps on them. Um, the next, what do we do next? We did Parat, didn't we? We did Parat. Right, here is the Pirat or Pirate. A look at that beer. Pardon me. Promised you a look at the bottle cap. Let's hide my face. 
otherwise we'll never get it to focus. There we go. Oh, blimey. Uh, golden Drac. Bottle cap. Yeah. Look at that for a colour. Um, be quick, I'm going to post this video, um, even the categories. I'm going to post this video rather quick because the beers have already been in Lidl for a good six days. And knowing Lidl, um, it's either there or it's not. It's not something that they keep in quickly. So I'm going to get these this video out really quickly for you. Um, uh, where did we go next? We then went over to the Golden Drac. Quadruple. But I'm just going to put... I'm going to rest that bottle on my perfect draft machine and I'm going to grab the regular what I was talking about earlier on the regular golden drac look at the regular compared to the quad there's the quad this is what I was talking about earlier look at the quad look at the look at the regular golden drac both same ABV personally if I was in charge of the brewery, I'd be making that the 9,000 and I'd be making that the regular. When, when you get, and, and this is all in your mind, it's all psychological. When you get up to certain strengths of beer, i.e. 10.5% ABV, you want your beer looking more full-bodied. It's just a mental thing in your head. You want it more full bodied. You want it looking a little bit more kind of miles per hour. This looks like it's lacking. This looks like it's lacking the mod. Even though it's got a great roll on it, great look, great, great carbonation. This is the regular one. This for me, this should be the 9000. And there's the 9,000 bottle cap. Let's get it to focus. And then, uh, last but not least, Pirat Triple. And there's a look at the Pirat Triple. There you go. Look at that. Right. All the beers are well worth it. I paid £11.99. Unbelievably. I paid £11.99 for this box of beer. Half of me is tempted, tomorrow morning, not today, um, to pop up to Lidl and buy a box of this for my dad for Christmas. I reckon he would like that. I reckon he would really like that. Um, this is the first time I've stood in front of a camera for 40 minutes and drank six beers. Um, is it a concept that you like? Do you like this concept? If you do, great. Let me know in the comments box. If you don't, equally let me know in the comments box it is it is it is that kind of I, I've, I've done each I've bought the box before I've done each beer individually only for people to say hey you've not done the box of little beers so I thought to myself right I gotta I, you know might be a good Friday afternoon session we'll crack on with that before the Stone Crow virtual pub on a Friday night we'll get into these beers beforehand uh, and then we'll get into the Stone Crow. So I've done that. I've made a 40 minute video for you guys. Let me know in the comments box, comments box of, uh, you know, all of your feedback on this video, whether you liked it, whether you didn't. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.